This city, this city is also facing a jobs crisis. 75% of Flint's manufacturing jobs have been lost in the last 25 years. In about the same amount of time, Michigan has lost 230,000 manufacturing jobs. I want to go to Tanisha Martin. She grew up here in Flint, but she now works in Detroit at the Shinola Watch Factory, which, as you know, is often held up as the blueprint for how to save American industry jobs. She says she's leaning towards Secretary Clinton, and she has a question for her. A lot of members of my family worked in the auto industry here in Flint. That's ultimately what I wanted to do once I got out of school, but unfortunately, I was unable to get any one of the big three. And that's why I now reside at Shinola. If you're elected president, what are you going to do to convince factories to keep the jobs here in the United States instead of sending them overseas to other countries? Secretary I'm, I'm going to do what I think will work, which is both carrots and sticks. And let me talk about the carrots. We're going to have a very clear set of proposals and incentives for manufacturing so that we change the way that companies think about making investments again in America. I have a comprehensive uh, manufacturing plan that I will be implementing. We're also going to invest more in infrastructure, as we both have said. It's woefully under-resourced. That will put a lot of people to work. I want to do more to help small businesses. They are the source of two-thirds of our jobs. We've got to help them start and grow, particularly minority and women-owned small businesses. We need to do more to help create clean energy as a source of good jobs. But I'm also going to go after companies. You know, when a company decides to leave, like Nabisco is leaving, and they've gotten tax benefits from Chicago and Illinois to stay there, I'm going to claw back those benefits. They're going to have to pay them back if they're leaving a place that actually invested in them. I'm also going to go after companies like Johnson Controls in Wisconsin. They came and got part of the bailout because they were an auto parts supplier. Now they want to move some of their headquarters to Europe. They're going to have to pay an exit fee. Thank we're going to stop this kind of job exporting, and we're going to start importing and growing jobs again Senator, in our country. Senator, Senator Sanders, well, I'll, I, 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 I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you yeah. I am very glad, Anderson, that Secretary Clinton has discovered religion on this issue. <laughs> but it's a little bit too late. Secretary Clinton supported virtually every one of these disastrous trade agreements written by corporate America, <laughs> NAFTA, NAFTA, supported by the Secretary, cost us 800,000 jobs nationwide, tens of thousands of jobs in the Midwest, permanent normal trade relations with China cost us millions of jobs. Look, I was on a picket line in the early 1990s against NAFTA because you didn't need a PhD in economics to understand that American workers should not be forced to compete against people in Mexico making 25 cents an hour. And the reason that I was one of the first, not one of the last, to be in opposition to the TPP is that American workers should not be forced to compete against people in Vietnam today making a minimum wage of 65 cents an hour. Look, what we have got to do is tell corporate America that they cannot continue to shut down. We've lost 60,000 factories since 2001. They're going to start having to, if I'm president, invest in this country, not in China, not in Mexico. Secretary Clinton.
Thank you.